Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. We are back with another first impression video. This one I will do a review on in a week or two. If you're new to the channel, this is a first impression video, which means that I haven't actually tested out the application before uh, jumping into it. I just want to show how intuitive everything feels. And I think that is really important for a lot of applications. I think it is even more important for a project management tool like Whimsical, uh, because especially this one seems to be tailored more towards teams, and I will explain why I think that. And I think it is really important uh, when you are uh, working in a team, especially if it is a bigger team with a lot of people, to think about whether or not an application feels intuitive, but I think this can be used uh, for an individual or even a small team as well. So let's jump into the application. So um, free pricing first with the free plan. This is annually. I will show you monthly as well, but the free plan actually gives you a lot. You get unlimited workspace members, all whimsical file, file types. So project docs and boards are the different types of files in whimsical, uh, three teams, three team boards, 100 team tasks, three teams, 10 guests, seven day version history, and 100 AI action editors. On the monthly plan, uh, which is $12 each month, you get unlimited team files and tasks. Uh, so you get unlimited of everything, 100 custom templates, private teams, six teams, 50 guests, 500 AI actions, uh, and uh, admin roles, and the AI actions is each month. So for smaller teams, uh, this is probably the best pricing if you're an individual, a freelancer, or just someone looking for a second brain and you want unlimited of everything. This is also the plan for you, 10 or 12 each month. If you're a bigger team, then uh, the $18 each month uh, pricing uh, might be the one you want to go for. This gives you one year version history. It gives you 100 guests. It also gives you SSO as well. Um, my guess is that this is probably for like bigger organization. Uh, so uh, not going too deep into this one, but pricing is similar to what you see in a lot of project management tools. I think I'm currently uh, paying twelve fifty for my project management tool, which is also my note taking app. So uh, around 12, 10 to 12 is the pricing for most of these uh, applications. Now let's look at the application. Uh, so this is the way it looks. I actually called my workspace my name, uh, but I have my accounts here. I have templates here. I have favorites here. I have my projects and my team. I can invite people quite easily. Let's just go ahead and hide this. Let's try to create a new project. So when I create a new thing here, I can um, choose where I want it, want to add it. So let's just add it into private. I can choose a board, a doc, a project, a task, and a folder. And I also have templates. So starter, Kanban board, flow chart, uh, prioritization matrix. So actually let's start off with a board and just see how uh, the board works. So this is a literal board. Uh, it seems quite similar to uh, Milanote if you've tested that out. It feels much more like a whiteboard. Uh, so let's try to add some things here. Let's do starter Kanban board. Let's just use a template. Uh, my guess is that control minus zooms out. It doesn't. It Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't in these applications. Uh, so here I have a lot of tools. Uh, I press the minus button to get all of these tools out. And there is a few tools here. Can I drag these around? And I love the fact that you can drop them. So you can actually create your own Kanban boards. Let's go ahead and remove this. Uh, you can this is actually a fun way of doing it. Let's see if I can add more here. I can, so I can actually open up these. That is uh, quite a nice feature. Where can I add more of these? 
So is it called? So this is a stack. And then I can add a task card. This is actually really cool. So I have a stack here, like this is a stack. And I can either uh, do the plus here. Uh, let's just do test. And I can change the color of this, of course, from right here. I can assign it to people as well. Uh, or uh, I can, if I go ahead and remove that one, I can actually add a task card like this. And I can choose where I want to put it. So, and again, when I drop it, I can then change the color of this. So orange is the uh, is the bug. So let's say this was a bug. Let's do enter. And I can then choose where I want to put it. I actually really like this way of doing Kanban boards. Uh, or actually just doing the whiteboard in general, but let's see what other features it has. So I have mind mapping abilities. So I can add, uh, let's just write test uh, and add one more, test two and test three. So enter actually adds another one and I could keep going on holding shift and using your scroll wheel in applications like these. Uh, this, this whiteboarding, like in whiteboarding applications, that is what I'm trying to say, actually allows you to go back and forward uh, or from side to side. So this is test one, test two, test three, and I can add on top of here. So let's do test one, one. So you can go like this and you can actually create a whole mind map. So that is something, wireframe mode. So you can add frames and you can choose the different type of frames. This is uh, something I, I haven't actually seen this in a lot of productivity applications. I've seen it in Figma and I've also seen it in Illustrator, so design applications, because this allows you to uh, create a frame. Let me do that one more time. So let's do tablet. This allows you to create a frame and actually design something. So uh, this is an iPad and I could put things on here to create my design, uh, which is interesting uh, because this is a whole mo uh, mode. So wireframe mode is a whole mode here where I can add different things. What happens if I, I can add different icons here? I can uh, freehand draw. So this allows you to sketch at least a little. I would still not think of this as like a substitution for something like Figma, but you actually can sketch a little inside of here, which is something I like. It it gives me the possibility to do like my basic sketching in here before I jump into another application. Uh, but um, not something like I've seen in many other apps here I can ha add uh, sticky notes which is what you uh, expect in whiteboarding applications uh, you can have different shapes so a few cool features here I can freehand writing so drawing sorry so we have that here as well what does this section button do so I can create different sections uh, so basically this gives you everything you would need in a whiteboarding uh, tool uh, and probably a little bit more. You can add voting and timer as well on the pro plans. So this is actually giving you a lot of options. Let's try to add something else as well. Let's try to add, um, let's do plus because this now adds a page when I press plus so project one let's just do that and see how this works and how can I get back to so if I click here I can see all of my projects uh, I can see backlog I can see active but how do I change something so I can change it from right here but how do I change the status property I can look into that later but let's see what kind of so we have actually a lot of things. You have uh, the ability to link between uh, workspaces. You have the ability to add your board or even a dock here. So what is the difference between a dock and a project? Let's do test and let's just use a template for the sake of this uh, video, which is starting to get long, but this application has many things here, let's just, or many features, let's just add this. 
so it seems like it it looks quite similar but uh this is a project which allows you to have tasks an overview here uh can i drag this elsewhere where did my project go now one thing that annoys me with this is when i have a project right here i can't actually like there isn't a button for me like it is here to collapse and open i can't actually open the projects underneath here that would be something i would like but i can add a new project from right there as um you can add different views so i can add dock board i really like this board view so i would probably add uh, a board view inside of every <laughs> inside of every project i really liked the whiteboarding abilities uh posts so uh, this is just for teams to be able to update your team on what you're doing project update check-in feedback i actually really like how this application works does it work with markdown it does uh, and i can add a discussion from down here i can assign a lead or a team uh here as well uh what haven't I tested out so folder because I can drag things underneath the folder can I add projects underneath the folder so I can't un add a project underneath the folder but I have all of my projects here so that seems a little weird I will get back to that in the review uh the board looks great I like the docs as well um I actually really like the docs uh, workspace link files so I can link this back to a project for example and I can open the project from right there a lot of cool features inside of this application uh, so I am really liking it um, more as a project management tool but honestly I could think this could work as a second brain uh, in a week or two I will do an updated video where I will uh, actually try to set this up as a second brain but my first impression this is probably one of the best first impressions I've had on an application I think that this looks and feels really really good as usual thank you so so much for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below I will try to get to them as soon as I can thank you so so much for watching today's video